Welcome back everyone to your stimulus update for today and in this video we have news to cover because more stimulus is coming next week. So we'll be discussing the stimulus on the way but before we do as always make sure you guys do a couple things for me. Number one make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up smash a like button I would appreciate that. If you haven't already make sure that you are subscribed to this channel click that big red button and the notification bell as well. That little bell will just notify you each and every time we do post a brand new update or video or go live right here on this channel. And we'll be doing our next cash giveaway when we do it 20,000 subscribers. You'll have to be subscribed to be entered in that giveaway. You might as well get out of the way now and become subscribed. So now that you've done those couple things for me, we can get started and dive right in. So yes, the next round of stimulus payments, this time in the form of monthly payments tied to the child tax credit under the American Rescue Plan are set to start going out next week. These child tax credit payments, again, they're part of the American Rescue Plan. That was a stimulus package that was passed by Congress and ultimately signed into law by President Biden back in March. And what it does is it provides $3,600 for each qualifying child under the age of six and $3,000 for each qualifying child over age six but under age 18. Now, half of the credit will be paid in monthly installments of $300 or $250, depending on which one you qualify for, per child. And the remainder can become claimed when filing the 2021 tax returns next year. So you'll get half now in monthly payments, and then the other half you will receive come tax time next year. Married couples with an adjusted gross income of up to $150,000 annually qualify for the full amount. Other income limits are $112,500 for heads of household filers, and also $75,000 annually for single filers. Those are the income thresholds for the child tax credit specifically. When can we expect to receive them? Well, the payments will first start going out on July 15th and then follow on August 13th, September 15th, October 15th, November 15th, and then finally December 15th will be the last monthly payment. Tax returns processed by June 28th will be reflected in the first batch of monthly payments scheduled for July 15th, according to the IRS. Now, not all families want this child tax now, not all families want these monthly payments right now, so the IRS has actually established the Child Tax Credit Update Portal that would allow households to stop the payments if they wish. People who opt to unenroll will still receive the remainder of their child tax credit and they are entitled to it as one lump sum come tax time next year. So if you choose to not want the payments right now, you can opt to unenroll through that portal. So be sure to do that as quickly as possible. It's worth noting that it's too late for July. However, you could still do it for August. The deadline for August is to update that portal by August 2nd. So say you opt out right now, you'll still receive July's payment, but then you'll opt out for August and the subsequent months that follow. You will no longer receive the monthly payment and you'll receive them come tax time. Now, obviously, the money is good right now, and these are monthly payments on an automated basis, so why would anyone want to unenroll? Why would anyone want to opt out? Well, the IRS has outlined several reasons why families might choose to unenroll from the automatic child tax credit payments. There's a handful of reasons why households and families may choose to opt out. Number one, this is a good reason, is that their income in 2021 is too high to qualify for the credit. Another good reason is that someone else, whether it's an ex-spouse or another family member, for example, qualifies to claim the child or children as dependents in 2021, or their main home was outside the United States more than half of 2021. These are all reasons why families might want to choose to opt out of the monthly payments. This is, of course, different than stimulus checks or payments. You had to have received these stimulus checks. They were automatically sent to people and you couldn't really opt out to receive them. You had to receive the stimulus checks. Of course, you could have done anything with that money. You could have donated it to another family if you wanted to. But in this case, you could actually opt out and not receive these payments. This is also the first time we'll be seeing recurring monthly automated payments throughout the rest of 2021. We've only ever received one-time payments. Of course, you can argue that unemployment was on a weekly basis, but this is the first time we're really seeing monthly stimulus checks, which were called for so many times by so many lawmakers and advocates months and months and months ago. It's also worth noting that the child tax credit, this is only a temporary increase to $3,600, is not permanent. It is not a permanent feature of the IRX tax code yet we might see a permanent increase and expansion of the irs tax code of the child tax credit down the road after these payments do stop 
we could very well see legislation enacted by the Congress or by the president that would permanently increase these payments. But this child tax credit will be available to a lot of people in this country. It will benefit millions of households. In fact, according to data that we have, about 39 million households or 88% of all children living in the US are expected to start receiving these new stimulus checks. Most of those households won't have to do anything to start receiving the payments, so they will come automated. You will not have to actually do anything. You won't have to file an amended tax return. They will come on an automated basis. And then according to the IRS, quote, while most taxpayers will not be required to take any action to receive their payments, Treasury and the IRS will continue outreach efforts with partner organizations over the coming months to make more families aware of their eligibility. So there will be campaigns and outreach programs to attempt to reach many, many families if they do not know or are not aware about these payments. While nothing is guaranteed, I could actually look forward to seeing this become a permanent part, a permanent feature of the IRS tax code. We have discussed this numerous times in previous updates on this channel that this has bipartisan support. We have seen Democrats and Republicans alike support and even propose even more in a child tax credit. We saw that proposal from Senator Josh Hawley, and he wants to give thousands and thousands of dollars in a child tax credit, a mega expanded child tax credit under his proposal. So I would not be surprised if we do see something happen later down the road that would make this a permanent feature. And we'll be sure to update you guys right here on this channel once we do learn more. But for now, enjoy these payments and let me know down below in the comments if you will be receiving these payments, if you're opting to receive them now or later. I'm curious, let me know down below in the comments, are you gonna be qualifying for these payments? More updates are to come. I'm sure we'll see some anecdotal evidence on social media of families and households starting to receive these payments. So we'll be sure to update you guys on that. And if there's any problems that do come about, perhaps there's some issues or glitches in the system, that could definitely be a possibility. So all updates and developments can be found right here on this channel. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, give it a big thumbs up, smash the like button, I would appreciate that. If you haven't already, make sure that you do have that subscribe button clicked and the notification bell as well to notify you each and every time we do post a brand new video right here on this channel. And if you'd like to get some free stocks, all on me, all free, just use the links down below in the description of this video. When you sign up with Robinhood and or Weeble, I should get some free stocks, some value up to thousands of dollars in some cases. So do let me know what stocks you do get. If you want to connect with me on social media, I am on Instagram at Logan Cohn, at L-O-G-A-N-K-O-H-N, right there on your screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care for now.